If you don't have an obvious place to put your accessories on your TV, then you might need this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. I just picked this up because I have this TV here and it's on a tripod easel stand. And I want to add my super box to it so that I can watch my television and movies. And I don't really have a natural place to put it. Now, you don't have to have a TV on a stand like this or even on a wall. You can just be on your regular TV stand and maybe you just don't have a lot of space. You've got your sound bar or gaming system or other accessories there. And something like this might be just the ticket. So let's unbox this and try it out. So this is what I bought and it's like this little shelf with legs that kind of sits on top of the TV. It kind of reminds me a little bit of how webcams work. They have these little platforms and little kickstands so that you can put them right on top of the monitor. This is kind of the same thing, but on a much larger scale. And so I wanted to show you what this looked like up close, and then we will try it out. First of all, I wanted to get one that was pretty big. I also wanted to get one with multiple legs. Some have a leg right in the middle, and I thought, oh, maybe if something's sitting on top and it's a little off to one side or something, the whole thing is going to come apart and fall off because it's unbalanced. So this one I got is kind of the bigger one and it has two legs. Now I will say on the top here, it looks like it's a carbon fiber pattern, but this is all just a molded piece of plastic. It has some ribs under here to give it a little more structure, but it's actually pretty thin. So it's actually very light, which I like. So it's not gonna put a lot of weight on the TV, a lot of stress. It's not gonna add much weight, which is pretty cool. Now on the back here, what I wanna show you is that there are a couple things to note. First of all, here are the legs. They're also hollowed out plastic. You can see that they move in tandem, so they are kind of glued together on this like center bar here. So they will always kind of be in the same level. And the way that they will tighten is you'll put them in position, get this tray nice and level, and then you will tighten it down with this thumb screw right here, I'm assuming. So if I turn that in there a few times, tightens it down. Yep, they don't want to move. Those are pretty sturdy. I mean, the thing flexes because of its materials, but that's going to stay up there pretty nice. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is the profile of the tray here. As you can see, there are no sides. It just uh, has a little edge here, and that's going to go on the front of the TV. So pretty thin. I call this about half an inch. So if you have a totally borderless TV, this might encroach on the screen. But for most of us, that's not going to be a problem. And then on the underside of that lip, what you might be able to see, is we have two little foam pieces. So it's actually not going to press on the glass or the TV bezel at all which is kind of nice you don't have to worry about it scratching or marring or on the legs we don't have any foam so on the feet here we have these little removable caps i'm not sure why that is in fact you don't need them i feel like they're just small pieces that might fall out but you have little round feet there. This is all just plastic. Obviously the back of the TV is mostly plastic. You don't have to worry about marring or even if it does, it shows there, but there's no little rubber or foam feet there, you know, but now what I can do is figure out how this is going to stay on the TV nicely, tighten it down and then put my accessory up here. And because this is actually pretty wide, it's almost like a foot, maybe 11 inches. You know, I can actually put a lot of stuff. I mean, it's probably six inches deep here. So it's definitely gonna be plenty of space for my super box. That's a pretty large accessory, but I could put like an Apple TV over here or something like that. I could probably even put a little DVD player on here if I wanted to, if you recall what that is. So let's go ahead and get this set up on the TV, put my accessories on here, see if it works. All right, so I went ahead and installed the tray here on this TV. I put my super box up there, plugged everything in, and it works perfectly. Now what you can see here is that you get a little bit of a lip here where it is covering the screen, but the screen actually just starts right about there. So it's not overly intrusive for me. And what I love about this is now I can bring the box or whatever device that you have connected to your TV right up to the front so it can get a good remote signal when you are changing the channel or searching for stuff. And obviously this can slide around too. I can move this pretty much wherever I want, you know, especially if you have a cord of a certain length that you need to accommodate, but it's pretty cool. It's just a cool, easy, quick way that you can remove, stow away, put on a TV, put on any TV. In fact, you use this on a monitor if you have some stuff up here, microphone, camera, all that kind of stuff too. So if you have a device that's just a little bit bigger than your normal stuff, you know, like Apple TV, uh, game console, I don't know that you'd want to put anything too heavy on here, but it's a great device for being able to have some space to attach your devices when it's not really obvious where you would do that. In this case, I don't have anywhere else to put anything. So pretty cool. If you want to pick this up so that you can put your favorite accessory on your TV, I will put a link to this in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.